Welcome back to the channel guys, Simply Pops here, and today I'm going to be comparing the first generation HomePod versus the brand new HomePod that just came out yesterday. As you can see, the first generation is on this side, it is in that space gray color, and I gotta say, I had it since day one when I was a college kid, and I was very skeptical about the HomePod at first, but when I heard the sound quality for the very first time, I was absolutely blown away. Like, I was mind blown at how much sound that's coming out of this little HomePod. Now, here we are with the second generation. It is in the color Midnight. This is replacing the Space Gray. I wanna see how the sound quality is gonna sound like. But before I get into that, let's talk about the specs on paper since this is a comparison video. Time to take out the handy dandy iPad Pro 12.9 inch M2 chip. So the HomePod first generation is actually taller than the second generation. So you're not gonna really see the difference too much. So the first gen is 5.5 pounds, while the second gen is 5.1 pounds. Now both pods feature the high excursion woofer so but the caveat is this has seven tweeters while the second generation homepod has five tweeters in terms of the microphone the first generation homepod has six microphones while the new homepod has four microphones uh, the chipset this is the a8 chip which is the same chip as the iphone 6 and the 6 plus while the new homepod is featuring the s7 chip which is the apple watch series 7 chip in terms of sensor this only has a accelerometer while you have an accelerometer on the new one but you also have a temperature and humidity sensor which i'm going to put to the test in a little bit in terms of the Wi-Fi, you have Wi-Fi N, which is an older Wi-Fi technology. I believe that is Wi-Fi 4, which you have a faster Wi-Fi chip on the new HomePod. And in terms of the color options, we have space gray and white, and we have midnight and white to on the new HomePod. Now, in case you guys missed my unboxing, I just decided to make a shorts because I didn't have enough time to create this video. But nonetheless, the unboxing experience is pretty similar. The only difference, you have a detachable cable on the back, which is pretty cool. If you wanna put this at a TV setup, you don't have to fish the wire in, or it's gonna be a little bit more easier to set it up. Now, if you look at the top of each HomePod, it has been redesigned a little bit. So you have an edge to edge screen, so um, on the new HomePod, the screen goes edge to edge opposed to just a dot in the center and you also have the plus and minus button printed on the home pod opposed to just having a screen on the old home pod and taking a look at the bottom taking a look at the bottom apple has redesigned the rubber feet so before there were some headlines indicating that there are some white marks it just leaves some stains on wood floors or wood tabletops so they redesigned it from the ground up and I must say, I never had a problem. One thing I noticed, I think the rubber feet is a little bit more stronger on the older HomePod opposed to the new one, but may have to break it in a little bit or maybe have to wipe it. So unfortunately, it's still the same process. So you will need an iPhone to set this thing up. Uh, very seamless. You just hover it over and it just pops right up. But looking at these two colors side by side, I actually prefer the space gray much better. Because the Midnight has this blue hue to it, opposed to the old HomePod, it's just a true black. Well, a little gray to it, but I much prefer it. It's just a much more neutral color. So now let me take it over to the Home app and see exactly what's new. Uh, by the way, if you guys want to purchase my wallpaper pack, I throw a link in the description. Nonetheless, as you can see, you have climate. So now you can actually see the current temperature in the room, 81 degrees, while the humidity level is just 18%. So I like that little feature, but is it enough to upgrade from the old HomePod to the new HomePod? Not really. And honestly, fun little fact, I have a smart thermostat that can calculate the same exact thing. So I actually have a Google Nest thermostat so it can identify the humidity level and of course the temperature. And I can actually use the Amazon Echo to control the thermostat actually. Nonetheless, you have that feature right here, which is pretty neat. And you could probably say things as like, let me just use this. What's the current room temperature? It's 81 degrees Fahrenheit in the bedroom. Now, one of the cool things about the HomePod is the fact how you can hover over the HomePod and kind of get an idea. It's more seamless or it's more one-to-one -one with the newer one. That's just thanks to the S7 chip being a much more faster chip. I just like the fact how it pops up instantly and you can be able to identify what's playing. It just works pretty much 100% 100 of the time. And yeah, I think for the seamless and just the speediness of that, I think that's pretty cool, but not enough for me to upgrade completely. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, I appreciate it with a thumbs up and subscribe with notifications on. So I think it is time 
it is actually time to do a sound test between the first gen HomePod and the second generation HomePod. And as you can see, I have a very high quality mic here. So make sure you guys wear headphones or if you have a fancy setup with speakers, it's recommended so you guys can hear the difference between the two. But remember, this has more speakers, right? So more tweeters, more mics, while this has less tweeters and less mics. But I want to see how the sound quality is going to stack up. I'm going to kick things off with the first generation HomePod just to kind of get an idea on how it sounds. Of course, I'm going to be playing some non-copyrighted music in the courtesy of Epidemic Sound. I'll throw a look in the description if you guys are interested in starting your free trial. All right. If you guys are wondering, hold on, let me pause this. You can play sound, right? You can play from the same audio from both HomePods, but for stereo pairing, it's not gonna be compatible with one another. But if you decide to pick up a HomePod today and you have an old HomePod, you could technically play the same track on the older HomePod, but it's not gonna feature stereo pairing. Just wanna make that abundantly clear. So they both playing at the same time, but I wanna play one at a time.
second generation versus the full home pod first generation hopefully i don't get any neighbor complaints here but it's not that loud where i'm should get any complaints but nonetheless i'm gonna give the very very ever so slightly edge to the old home pod in terms of the aesthetics i love the space gray color um i just i think the sound is a smidge better um but the new HomePod, I appreciate the detachable power cable on the back. I like how everything is edge to edge on the top. <sighs> it's just a little disappointing to see this. I wish we would have got like a screen built in, like an actual, like an iPad screen that runs TV OS or something like that. But nonetheless, this is still an incredible sounding speaker. Now Siri is still present here, unfortunately. Not the best assistant in the world, but nonetheless, I love the HomePod. To me, if you have a HomePod, it's like you're the ultimate Apple sheep. <laughs> Not in a negative way. I even have the Apple claw for crying out loud. But nonetheless, guys, that is the two HomePods here. And I thought in the description, I'm trying to figure out what else can I even test out. I know somebody on YouTube is going to cut this open and see what's in the inside. I'm not doing that. Maybe J-Rig everything could probably do something like that. But nonetheless, let me know down in the comments down below would you pick up a new home pod or are you going to go through ebay pick it up certified refurbish or pick it up used i would still go with the old home pod especially at a discounted price opposed to 300 dollars here uh and i still say that apple is still charging a lot of money for this especially if you want the ultimate experience you got to pick up two so that is going to be 600 dollars right there so it is a tough pill to swallow this should have been priced maybe at 250 maybe two hundred dollars at least two hundred dollars and pairing it up with two make it four hundred i think that would have been more compelling but since that this failed apple is trying it again with this one i'm not sure how to sell is stacking up because when i want to pick up another home pod they said it's available for pickup on march 8th so i'm not sure if these are actually selling good or not only time will tell but nonetheless the home pod is pretty pretty dope i, I like the sound quality so much in fact but um but for siri i wouldn't buy this for siri at all all right so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel with notifications on drop a like on this video help me out tremendously make sure you guys follow me on instagram tiktok and on twitter at simply pops and until next time guys have a simple day peace